It was September 2013. A Russian-owned cargo ship, set his destination to Mozambique from Georgia. The ship was carrying around 3,000 tons of ammonium nitrate. The new captain who set sail abroad the cargo ship, discovered that the ship has multiple technical issues, including problems with the main generator. Owner of ship, who is a Russian businessman was having financial issues, and so he told the captain that, he did not have the money to pay fees for the Suez Canal. He instructed the captain to make an unscheduled stop at the port of Beirut in Lebanon, to pick up collect an additional cargo of heavy machinery, to fund passage through the Suez Canal. When the ship got at Beirut port, a leakage was reported from a hole in the hull of the ship. Due to leakage, the heavy machinery could not be loaded into the ship. As the ship's owner could not pay the port fees and fine, the Lebanese authorities arrested the ship crew. The case was presented in Lebanese Court of Justice. After one year, judge gave judgment to release the ship crew. And in the exchange of money, the port authorities took all of the ammonium nitrate into custody, and kept it into the warehouse number 12, which was situated next to the grain silos. As storing such a huge pile of ammonium nitrate at port was very dangerous. Therefore, the port authorities requested the court multiple times, to allow disposal or auctioning of the stock of ammonium nitrate. However, it never happened until Tuesday 4th of August 2020, when the stock caught fire followed by a deadly explosion.